So in the last uh, tutorial, we had this example here, this collection. And I'm going to be reusing this code for this lesson. And I'm going to be demonstrating magic methods. Now, as I mentioned before, we already looked at the construct magic method. Now we're going to be looking at set, get, call, and to string. So let's just comment these so we know what we're doing. And I'm going to say public function set. And again, that's two underscores if you can't tell. And this takes two parameters. It takes key and value. And all we're going to do here is we're going to say this set key value. So now what this allows us to do is say something like collection. Uh, what should we call it? We'll call it Baz. So C Baz equals Fuba. Or Cooks would be a better one. So it looks like we're setting a property here. But we're actually not uh, because this set method, this set magic method here recognizes that we're setting a property here and it overrides the action. So if we go to our browser and hit refresh, uh, let me just fix this. I'll just say echo print our container all and we'll add this method down here. just to make things a little clearer. And we'll also add a pre before that. There we go, much better. So now, uh, let me just fix this so we're not getting that one down there. So we're setting the second parameter of printer to true, which tells PHP that we don't want to output this, we just want to return it. Uh, so there we go, that's gone. So now you'll see that this worked. We have our property here, or our item there. And now if we just add a quick get method, so get key, and we're going to return, uh, we'll have a ternary operator here. So return array key exists, key this item. And if the, if the key does exist, we'll return this item's key. Otherwise, we'll return null. So now what we can do is we can just comment this out for now. And then we can say echo c get baz. And hopefully, yep, we get cooks. So now what we can do is we can use this get magic method up here. So public function get. And this one just takes one parameter called value. Although you can name it whatever you want. And we're just going to return this get value. So if we go back to our index, all we have to do is echo C baz. And it looks again like we're accessing a property, but PHP recognizes with this method that we're accessing a property and overrides it. So here we get the same result. So now let's look at call. So public function call. And this takes one parameter called args, uh, which is short for arguments. In fact, sorry, no, it takes two parameters, one called function and the other called arguments. Uh, let me just get rid of these so we know which ones we've done. I can't think of a useful example for this, so we're just going to echo func. So if we say down here, echo c get baz, uh, what's going on here? This method here is only called when the method doesn't already exist. So if we change this to C foo, then we get the function name. And uh, let me just make this clearer. Uh, func has been called with arguments. Hit refresh. Foo has been called with arguments. And we need to add the arguments. So because this is an array, we can't just that we're going to get an array to string conversion so we're going to implode this like so foo has been called with arguments and if we just add an argument foo bar baz cooks and let's just add a space there so foo has been called with arguments foo bar baz cooks. So we also have call static, but we're not going to look at that just yet because we haven't looked at static itself. 
So finally, we have to string. So let's add that public function to string. And in this case, I want to echo a JSON formatted array, which is the same as what Laravel does. So echo, uh, sorry, return this JSON serialize. So now what we can do is we can echo C and we get that array. However, if we remove this, uh, where was it up here? If we re remove this, we're going to get an error because an object can't be converted to a string without that method being implemented. Now there are more magic methods, but we haven't got time to cover them all. Do look in the docs. I think there's about six or seven. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but do play around with them, they can often be very useful.